Hi, this is James Sondriger here at Juniper Networks Education Services. Are you familiar with our learning pads? We offer 14 different pads covering the Junos OS and specific Juniper technologies. Each path shows the courses we offer and the relevant certifications in the order we suggest to maximize your learning. Just visit www.juniper.net slash learning pads to get started. When you click on a track, you'll see all the courses in that track and the associated certifications. You can click each course or certification to view more details. If you follow a learning path, you'll get the most from your training with Juniper Networks. Now, let's get to your Learning Byte. Hello and welcome to the Request Support Information Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to execute the request support information command and use it to gather the required information to help you resolve a support case. This command is available on any Junos platform. The request support information command is available in operational mode on any Junos platform. The goal of running a request support information command is to have the device collect enough information about the current status of the platform and use that information to help resolve a support case that we have to open with Juniper Networks. The command is request support information and if you hit enter after typing in that much of the command the output is going to appear on your screen. The output of a request support information command is thousands of lines so having it appear on your screen is probably not going to help you very much. So it's common that you see a request support information followed by a pipe save because we want to redirect the output of this command to a log file and then we can copy that log file from the platform and send it to Juniper Networks when we open a support case. So in the example on our screen request support information pipe save and then I would specify the path to and the name of a log file and you can specify whatever path or whatever file name you choose. If the file is too large to, let's say, copy off the device and upload using the tools you have, you can use the operational mode file command to compress the file down to a more manageable size. When you execute the request support information command, it begins to step through a series of operational mode show commands and it can take a little bit of time and remember our goal is this is a lot of information that it's producing and we want to save that into a log file that we can then upload to Juniper Networks when we open a support case I don't expect you to memorize all of the show commands that it executes and it can vary a little bit by platform there might be two or three more show commands for example on a firewall than you'd see on a MX router but these are the commands that it executes and because there are so many commands and so much output it can actually take a few Mississippi you know for the request support information command to finish I've secure shelled into an EX series switch and I'm gonna run the request support information command and I'm gonna hit enter remember if I just hit enter at this point wow I'm going to get quite a bit of output to my screen but you know again having it on my screen is not going to do me much good in resolving my support case so this time when I run it I'm going to include the pipe save as we saw a little bit earlier and I'm just gonna send it somewhere on the local system and I'll use the rsi.log file name but remember you can use whatever you'd like and and I'm gonna hit enter now remember there's a lot of show commands that it's stepping through right at this moment so you know it can take up you know a couple Mississippi for it to actually finish but when it does it will tell you in this example hey I wrote 6,231 lines of output to your rs1.log I can actually see the contents of the file in operational mode there's a file command and in one of its uh, switches is file show and then I'm just going to specify the the name, you know, the path to and the name of our uh, you have to spell it right every time our file name and I can see it's the same command that was being output to my screen 
Uh, but I just redirected it to a file. And remember, now our goal is to use, you can use a FTP or secure copy to copy that file from this local device to my management station. And now I can open up a support case with Juniper Networks and provide them with the required information to begin resolving the problem. In this learning byte, we executed the request support information command and saw how it can be used to collect required information to help resolve a support case with any Juno's platform. For more information about Juniper's Education Services Department and the training and certification options that we provide, please see our website. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.